Hundreds of people packed into a lecture theater at UBC Okanagan Tuesday afternoon to hear Zach Walsh, a clinical psychologist and professor at UBC Okanagan, talk about pot. Walsh presented his findings from a recently published comprehensive review of cannabis and mental health. Cannabis should be, uh, you know, evaluated the same way we evaluate other medications. And when it comes to mental health, uh, there are still a lot of people that are not getting uh, the symptom relief from existing medicines or they're not getting the effectiveness from existing medicines and um, they're reporting that cannabis is effective so we need to take that seriously. He touched on the potential benefits cannabis can have on depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. Additionally, he mentioned the clinical trial he is currently working on at UBC Okanagan, looking more closely at how cannabis can help those suffering from PTSD. We're looking to recruit 40 people, um, so it could be done as soon as uh, a year from now, and maybe as long as two, depending on how long it takes us to, to get all the, all the people through, this, through the trial. The presentation was organized by the Canadian Students for Sensible Drug Policy, Okanagan Chapter. Well, Dr. Walsh is one of the leading researchers in cannabis research in Canada and probably North America, so we thought that he'd have a wonderful insight into um, some of the top research right now. Walsh stuck around after his talk for about an hour, fielding one-on-one -on -one questions with dozens of interested audience members. You know, for people who have been using cannabis as a medicine, a lot of the time they felt ashamed, they felt stigmatized, um, they've wondered whether or not there was any validity to what they're saying. So when they hear uh, stories of other people who are, you know, validating their claims and when they see that the science is being done, often it can be pretty emotional because they're people who feel like they've been left out and they feel there's been a lot of shame and a lot of stigma. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.